new tonight. All patients at the Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa now being required to take an on-site COVID-19 test before surgeries and other procedures are allowed. And tonight, as our J.J. Burton explains, it's all a move to keep patients and staff safe. As if cancer isn't bad enough on your immune system, try having COVID-19 at the same time. So if a patient was coming in for a breast cancer surgery or a lung cancer surgery and they were on the ventilator, they had the potential to have much worse mortality rates. They actually had a reported mortality of as much as 25%. In order to keep their patients alive, the Moffitt Cancer Center has developed its own rapid COVID test. And the patients must take that test a day or two before their scheduled surgery. If the test is positive, the patients are then categorized from A to C, A being the most severe, according to Dr. Brian McIver. Somebody who's dying of their cancer, if we don't do something, it's going to be a catastrophic outcome. And they are irrespective of the COVID status, we would simply go ahead and do the treatment that they need. McIver says the other benefit to this is the team now knows what they need to do to stay safe. By use of the N95 mask and face shields and all of the usual PPE, and we have a good robust supply of that PPE. He says the B patients are usually rescheduled for about two weeks, and then the C patients about three weeks. I can tell you frankly that I feel very safe in this environment, working in this hospital, seeing patients face to face on a on a daily basis. And MacGyver says they've gone from doing about 10 to 15 tests a day to up to a thousand. In Tampa, JJ Burton, ABC, Action News.